So here we go, playing with it through. In this basement in East Regina, there's a hockey training session being conducted. Side, side, one, two, one, two. What you can't see are the students who are all in their own homes for this online course. A lot of kids nowadays have a little rink set up in their garage or basement. Okay, good job. TS hockey training is put on by Trevor Lackness and Shea Hawarko. Lackness has been training hockey players in Regina for 15 years, while Hawarko is a former Swift Current Bronco and now personal trainer. And when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, the duo teamed up to take their lessons online. And while initially TS Hockey Training expected their client base to be mainly local, they now have athletes in six different countries. They are also providing training for the national men's and women's hockey teams in Iran. They reached out onto the, the Instagram and they kind of enjoyed what our, our training had to offer. I thought, wow, with all the political distress in the world, a uh, little basement in Regina could connect to a national Iran team, and I thought that was cool. We're practicing and we're using uh, whatever we can, and uh, we're using any help that we can get. And now it's a long-term partnership. TS Hockey Training will continue to work with the national teams in Iran as it builds its hockey program from the ground up. Most of the players come from the inline hockey program, and there's only one regulation size hockey rink in the country of 83 million, and it was only built last year. We don't have any experience. We're not going to say like, ah, oh, we know this, or uh, we already achieved this, or something like that. Whatever they're showing us, it's new. I look forward to seeing you next week. And in fact, many of the lessons extend even beyond hockey. The best learning experience besides hockey has just been learning that these people from Iran are no different than all of us. Taylor Shire, Global News.